hello friends so today uh, we are going to interact with one another phd scholar who is from the same department mechanical engineering from sm uh, srm university ap so today we are going to know because he is already completed at uh, two years so uh, today we will go uh, going to know about his experience and what are the things what are the papers he has published patents he is going to plan and many other things he has also experienced so let's start so made so first thing you tell about yourself your academic background or any experience you have yeah thanks for having me sir i am madhi rangan i am from tamil nadu i did be mechanical engineering then after that i continued mtech in renu branaji in gandhigram university physical okay then after that i have two years investing experience since i am specialized in mtech in renewable energy i worked in solar thermal company <coughs> two years in bangalore okay. where i designed solar parabolic collector for industrial process heating applications and okay. during covid period uh, due to the technical and financial oh. issues then i got the opportunity to phd but basically i am interested in phd after mtech but same or i don't know how to apply in phd and i don't know where philosophy is there Okay. So due to unaware, I didn't continue after I take PhD. Then I got up, get to know SR University. I applied PhD here. Okay. So your job has been uh, in Corona some problem with this. Yes. So that's why you are. But you have the interest in PhD. Yes. Okay. So uh, the other question: When you have joined and how you have joined? How you came to know about this university? Uh, one of my friend was working in. On state university, he is teaching his student. Okay. He has some contact with our already already working in faculties. Okay. Through that, the he get to know SR is offering stipend and research facilities. So my friend forced me forced me to apply. He, even I didn't apply. He applied for me. Okay. After that, I came. I attended interview. And just, for me, interview just five minutes. Okay. I asked other my colleagues who joined with me. Hmm. They told for in them interview happened forty five or one hour. Okay, okay. So I don't know why the five minutes, but the, I got selected in that interview. After I joined here. Okay. So when you have joined? In uh, which year? October twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yes. Okay. So that time, what are the scholarship you are getting? Means uh, that what is the college is offering you? Uh, that is the initial period of this university. This is just five years established university. Okay. So we don't have much facility. Mm. and even i don't have much experience how to do research and all even mm. my ma'am also don't have mm. lab facilities okay so we initially we plan for doing simulation kind of research works mm. and we we plan to work in cfd simulations so initially the ma'am has the project in mm. gra position you have joined no no first i joined as a phd only okay okay after that uh, i wrote two proposal along with my ma'am mm -hmm. my first proposal is my based on my area of solar thermal system mm -hmm. then next we uh, i wrote along with ma'am for one electronic cooling project my ma'am socialization okay so current project on which you are working is the electronic electronic cooling, cooling. that project got okay. accepted so it is your main thesis uh, yeah that is my ma'am work on ma'am yes. okay okay so uh, another question is now you are jrf yes. uh, so is there any provision you can convert again into phd because in jrf how much you are getting now now jrf is 31 uh, 31 but college is providing 36 and yes. you are already you have completed two years so it will be 41 yes so how you will convert means is, is, is any provision is there uh, especially in if you go other another institute or anywhere hmm. they call jrf message job But here, here the this university giving more focus, and even JR also they can easily come up to PhD. Okay. Since exactly. I am basically a PhD student, mm -hmm. I joined as JR. I can continue both. Mm -hmm. Once I done my JR period is over, I can be a PhD scholar still. Okay. So it uh, it will be over. You can. Uh, yeah, I am. I am a social PhD student. Okay. So another thing uh, here, when you want to go in any conference, yes. so you are getting any support from this university or not? Yeah, during COVID period, the when second wave came, that mm. time I was in eight month over. Mm. When I was in hometown, but I applied on conference. Mm. So I don't have fund to apply that. I have to pay the conference fees. Mm -hmm. So we just sent an email to the provincy and finance government. They just paid. Okay. So they they providing all financial support. All financial. Yeah, support. conference okay. they providing all financial support. 
okay. and this new policy two month back the university announced new policy mm-hmm. they can support the 20000 for ah, one year per year yeah. yes, yeah. okay. each scholar will get 20000 for okay. their research work that is very good so madhi another uh, that is also very important question suppose you are working in thermal so your area is related to thermal so yes. uh, so what is your working area you explain in detail uh, basically i do two areas one is my area i'm basically i'm from renewable energy background hmm. so i work on this uh, considering solar collector systems okay uh, what i do currently i work in cpc collector that is compound parabolic concentrator hmm. which helps to produce both electrical and thermal energy hmm. and one more is electrical cooling system what is electrical cooling means we specifically working on the processor cooling and thermal management of electronic systems mm-hmm. uh, right now there are conventionally available air, both air, air cooling and liquid cooling systems mm-hmm. we specifically focusing on micro channel based electric liquid cooling systems as so i started there was a meeting in that uh, sri saman so she was telling also every year 8% increase it is increasing in electronic cooling yes. so it area is increasing every year yes. because electronic equipment are also increasing yes. so this is a very demanding area yeah. so it is very best thing you are working in that area yes. and till now how many papers you have published and also which impact factor in mean, how many years you have published this thing uh, so you joined 2020 2020 hmm. up to now i think 2 years 4 months is over hmm. uh, i got two papers in q1 journal hmm. one is in thermal international journal of the heat and mass transfer it's a very good journal it's just five impact factor and our mm-hmm. other paper is in renewable energy journal which is a eight impact factor mm-hmm. and uh, one more journal i have published in asme solar, solar energy oh, asme yeah that is also very good and uh, any patents you have planned or you have applied filed anything yeah for our uh, dst project we have planned some patents mm-hmm. and uh, other than the uh, this electronic cooling we have planned some more patents in solar thermal also okay and the projects already have told you have written the projects yes. okay so you know how to write the project yes okay that is also very good and the another uh, the very important question is what are the research facilities you are getting here uh since uh, when i joined that time we don't have much computation facility also okay. but now the university provided more than 10 system with high specification like 32 gb ram high high processor capacity so we have very good computation facility and we we got projects so we have established our own experimental setup also for testing the thermal micro channel or liquid cooling system so everything now it is available yeah. so no need to go outside yes so based on that you have published the paper yes because what are the facilities and labor so based on that only you have published three papers so any other work means outsourcing you have not done no okay so that is also very good and here uh, the another question is what is what is the working environment means uh, it any stress stress is there or high means high amount of workload is there means apart from the other things also you are working so what are the what is what you feel means what is the working environment i feel i don't get any other than research work hmm. up to now i didn't do any work other than hmm. research for week all week days i'm working on research work only i didn't get any ta work or any lab okay work. means main focus is on research research only yeah Okay. they give full freedom for doing research okay so another also important question which i have forgotten is uh, some consumables also you need yes uh, so universities provide support or not yeah they will provide support yeah maybe we can procure through the 20000 they are adding to individual scholars uh, other other than that if for each faculty they are giving 1 lakh rupees okay through can purchase the consumables okay that is also so now everything you have told us uh, so most important part is what is your future plan you are see, seeing any future or not after completing which is very demanding demanding area so already we know yeah. that very so what do you think already you have two years experience in industry also so what is your future plan uh, future plan means uh, just i felt uh, just working in one area or one topic it is not enough in the current future mm, we have to do multiple interdisciplinary work so which will be easily we can sustain in the career and at the same time we have to mostly related to work on industry if possible to try to work with industries and that is i am aiming for one i am trying to collaborate with industry or industry okay. projects your main aim is to go in industry yeah. and uh, suppose you got any post a very good university for yes. any university so you will go on 
yeah for research experience i definitely will go i go i want to explore more how the foreign or other university systems are working in the research field so okay. we want to get exposed how they working so uh, these are the things already you have told that these are the facilities yeah. uh, so the last question is so suppose any student who want to join here yeah. so what you will suggest him from your side means he should join here or not means uh, uh, this is private university yeah. all you know that uh, many people have uh, thinking uh, to get in uh, private is very easy yeah. and also uh, here they have to not study and they will get the degree what do you think what do you suggest them no even when i join sr university the people are suggested you working in private university you will easily get phd okay. but i don't think that is reality mm. see i found the scarcity when we have scarcity the innovation will come so when we working in private university due to this internal external stress we automatically work on more so we will get more innovation within limited resources where we work in some other university there which has more funding they 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 access to all resources so the innovation is very less when we have less resource we accessing we working very hard so i feel this is very good for learning and exploring and, and also he has a student has a future yeah okay so in your view if any student who want to work here so they can join yes. without thinking any other yeah. things so but they, only thing they should have interest they should have interest to learn themselves hmm. or interest to learn something new if they don't have interest not only in phd or anything it's very difficult to sustain and have you got any support from your seniors so now another seniors are also there so your two year four, two year yes. four month you have completed but seniors are also there yes. you have got any support from the seniors uh, support me i say maybe generally we will discuss but technically they are working in different field oh. for my madam i am the first scholar so i don't have any seniors okay. so for me it's very difficult to sustain but it's other a foundation will come, for uh-huh. me yeah. then you will support him yes. they will so this time also uh, ma'am will uh, take yeah. another scholar so that is very good and uh, uh, till uh, madhi how many scholars are currently working here uh, in currently uh, we have uh, mechanical around 11 scholars i guess okay and in university how many people be there uh, in our university total more than 180 students i guess okay that is also very good so very nice talk to yeah, <laughs> very very is. very everything you have explained very clearly so now we have seen that madhi his experience everything what he is feeling about this university so based on his view you can think yourself you should join this university or not not about this university this is the private university everywhere you will see nowadays private university are doing more research uh, it is uh, somewhere it is better than some iits but uh, always we are comparing to iit so here the who is the president so they are uh, a scope to grow this university as a global leader so uh, based on that you can think and uh, this is not about this university private university other university also you can search and there you can find its own way okay so thank you